your most recent article right now on NBC Sports Philadelphia.com and the My Teams app, Ruben Frank. Our expectations on the Eagles wide receiver, Devontae Smith, too high. Make sure you check out that story. I have to ask you this last question, though, because it's one of your most popular posts that you you always have on NBC Sports Philly and the My Teams app. Rube's 10 observations. Generally speaking, Rube, because I know you're a very observant individual, how do you determine what goes in the 10 observations and what doesn't? How do you pick? Well, I, I just start running down observations till I have 10, and then I just, I'm done. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's not like I have, like, well, you know, you hear, like, bands are putting an album. Well, we had 30 tracks, so we had to narrow it down to 12. No, right. no that's not me. I, I, <laughs> it's not like I have 30 observations. I'm like, oh, let me figure out what my 10 best are here. No, no, not, I'm, like, scrambling. Like, I'm, like, there's been days, like, in this time of year, Farzee, this time of year in June and July, when there's nothing going on, I'm at like three and I'm like, I'm, I just, where am I going to get another observation? So you run to Starbucks, you, you go to a concert, you get, come up with some more observations and you write a story. When in doubt, like write about Jordan Matthews, right? right. <laughs> there's, there's certain guys like, you know, write about Nick Foles. There's certain guys that are, their careers are so bizarre and interesting, you know, right. Uh, you can always write something about, uh, you know, like, like I found this guy, I was writing my observations this week and I was dying. I had nothing. And I found this guy, <laughs> Ernie Steele. Mark, have you ever heard of Ernie Steele? Only because I read your 10 observations. <laughs> right? How cool is that? The dude's got the highest punt return average in NFL history. He's got the highest rushing average by a running back in Eagles history. He had 20, 24 interceptions. He returned punts. He returned kicks. He was a D back. He was a running back. He kicked an extra point once. And how is this guy not in the Eagles Hall of Fame? I don't know, my friend. I don't know. Just food for thought, though. Maybe one time do a, a list of, like, top ten bars you miss the most in Philly that aren't around anymore. Oh, man. Maybe. I, I asked Ray, uh, Ray D the other day about Ernie Steele because I was like, I'd never heard of him. He said, yeah, you know, interesting thing about Ernie Steele. Um, and his, he retired after 1948, after they won the championship. He had an interception in the fourth quarter of the NFL championship game. He should be an Eagles Hall of Fame. But Ray said the next summer he was driving out to training camp, and he's like, he was halfway across the country. He's like, I don't want to play anymore. He just turned around, drove home to Washington, never to be heard from again. That's amazing. Um, but just real quick, for the record, what bar do you miss the most in Philadelphia? What bar? Yeah. What bar that closed? Yeah. Um. Like maybe one around 8th and Fitzwater. I don't know. <laughs> Vesuvio. Yeah, I miss Vesuvio, man. We had some good times there. <laughs> we absolutely did. <laughs> Two-gallon vodka tonics <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, Jerry had the hookup. Yeah, uh, vodka good tonic. man. Yeah. You get like, Ruben. A, like a carafe of vodka tonic. <laughs> Uh, yes, we did have some good times. But you know what else? You know what I really miss is the Boot and Saddle. Which have you ever been to the Boot and Saddle? I've only driven by it on Broad Street. Ryan Broad Street, South Broad. Um, you know, one of the one of the be- probably one of my favorite, one of my two or three favorite music clubs in the city, and a really good bar as well. Um, and the best tater tots, man. And they and they closed during the pandemic. Uh, same owners as Union Transfer, so at least Union Transfer is still open. But man, I loved, I loved. Uh, Boot and I got to play there with Dave Hawes a couple nights, which is really cool. That's a, you are a man for all seasons, my friend.